Hi everyone, it's Edward here, and welcome back to TIA Open Official Tech Hour. And if you're new to embedded development or just want to get your hands on with the TIA Open, you're in the right place. And today, I will show you the step-by-step -step guide of how you can set up your development environment, you can compile and flash your very first demo project from scratch. And let's make sure that uh, you get uh, started quickly and confidently, uh, no matter your background. So what is Tuya Open and why is it so special? Tuya Open is an open source AILT operating system and SDK built for rapid hardware innovation. It supports a wide range of hardware, including the Tuya T5 MCUs or ESP32s or like a Linux based SOC such as like a rock chip, uh, make it extremely flexible for future proof. Today, we'll use the T5 development board for our example project and the process is similar across all other supported chipsets. And here's our roadmap for today. Number one, prepare the necessary hardware for your hardware tools. Number two, installation and configuration of the Tuya development environment. Number three, download the SDK and the dependencies. And number four, compile and run your first demo project. And by the end of this tutorial, you'll have everything you need to get started building with your own AILT devices. So let's get started. Let's walk through of setting up the Tuya Open demo step by step. No need to stress, just follow along and we'll get it up and running in no time. Number one, step one, getting your environment ready. First, let's gather what you need, a development board or module that works with the Tuya Open. Check the compatibility list if you're unsure. So for now, uh, we'll have a flagship T5 core development board kit ready. A USB cable just to connect to your computer and also your computer of course uh, whether you're running on Linux or Windows or Mac OS we got you covered. Our build environment is compatible with all the operating systems and now that's us uh, install the tools and if you're on Ubuntu or Debian open your terminal and run the command line of the apt get install these libraries and dependencies onto your system. Once that's done let's grab the Tuya open files from the Tuya Open repository with the git clone command. And now you can move into the folder uh, with the cd command into the Tuya Open. And next, we will activate the development environment just to run with uh, export.shell. It will initialize the environment itself. And to make sure everything is working right, just type the tuya.py version and tuya.py check uh, this will automatically uh, go through all the dependency and make sure your environment is working correctly. If there's any issue with the development environment, all the steps for the environment setup are thoroughly documented. For in-depth details, please refer to our comprehensive documentation. And step two, now we'll be adding the device authorization key, and here's how. Find the file called the Tuya config header file it's usually in your include folder. Just open it up and look for Tuya Open SDK UUID and the auth key. Replace the placeholder text and replace with your actual UUID and the auth key. This is a unique device identification and authorizations. Once you've done that, you need to recompile everything and flash it to your device. Oh, and where do you get these keys? You can obtain these free API keys on our developer platform or purchase additional ones according to your specific requirements. So step three, let us build the switch demo. It's actually pretty straightforward. First, configure the dev board uh, with a toast.py command with the config and choice attached to it. Pick the board from the list, the target board that will be building, and you can run the toast.py menu config. Uh, this is optional, but if you want more in depth, a feature or configuration, you can do the menu config. Then compile the toss.py with the build command. You can actually uh, perform the build process. This demo is pretty cool. It supports the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi AP pairing. You can control it remotely over the local network or at remote. It's simple and easy demo to get you started to explore the AILT development. Step four, flash in the firmware. Now let us get the firmware onto your device. For the firmware flashing, you'll have the flexibility to choose between the command line interface application or there's an optional graphical user interface application. 
To flash to firmware, you can just simply run the toss.py flash command. It will do the flashing process. It will ask you of which serial port to use. Just pick the one that matches your device. For example, if you're like on the Linux, it will be more like a device TTY ACM0 or like a COM port on uh, Windows. And once that's selected, the flash process will begin. And wait for the flash to be done with the new firmware, and you should be prompt with the flash write success when it's done. And step five, pairing with the Smart Life app. And okay, let us get your device connected to the app. Open the Smart Life app and log in. Make sure your phone is connected to 2.4 GHz bandwidth. We noted that the 5 GHz won't work here uh, because of the bandwidth of the module itself. So double check your network is supported for 2.4 GHz. And when the app asks for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth permission, go ahead and allow them. And now we need to connect the device to your app. On the app's homepage, at the top of there's a plus sign that has add device app will start looking for the device in pairing mode and it should find your device pretty quickly. Select the device from the list and just follow the instruction from the screen, enter your Wi-Fi password, just type it in and pair it and you're all ready to go. And step six, the debugging process. Now it's the demo time. You have the firmware ready and it's paired to your device. We want to see uh, what's happening behind the scene. So if there's anything that isn't working quite right, uh, you can check the logs and write the tuya.py monitor to see the real-time log uh, while pairing. When pairing is successful, you agree with the log message like the connection is successful. And you can also uh, actually form the on-off remote switch with your app. It will accordingly on your device and you can also see the logs accordingly too. It's a great way to make sure everything's working as it should. If you're completed with this tutorial or even ran into some issues, share your progress with the Discord community. Ask questions, post the screenshots, help each other out, and here's a challenge. Can you get your first Tuya Open demo running in under 10 minutes? Tag your results with the hashtag Tuya Open Challenge and join our Discord channel at the link down below for support and inspiration from the community. And that's it for today's episode. You have completed the guide to setting up your Tuya Open environment and building your first demo project from scratch. In our next video, we'll dive into more advanced demos like integrating the AI voice agents and building four featured uh, smart AI devices. So what features or board do you want us to cover next? Leave your ideas in the comments down below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord channel for real-time support. Keep building, and I'll see you next on the Tuya Official Tech Hour.